Why wasn't this the main event? Because Adam Cole's going to NXT. Not, not NXT. <laughs> because Adam because Adam Cole Bebe is going to AEW after this match is over. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm like, you want to try that again? I was going to see how long it would take you. I mean, it's 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 bound to happen at this point. If he wasn't going to AEW, or if it, if or if he didn't let this contract expire, he would have won this match. Right. So Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, um, two out of three falls. Fall also, this one, would have been the main event. Yep. Fall number one, a traditional. Um, it was a really good match, and uh, Kyle O'Reilly won with it kind, the roll-up. It kind of, yeah, it kind of ended kind of weird. I thought it was, I thought it was fine, just because you knew that this one was not going to be like the right. star-studded one. Uh, you had the street fight, which was that very was, good. That was the star of the show. Oh yeah, um, Kyle O'Reilly landed super awkwardly. There goes my answer. Whatever. Um, it was it landed super awkwardly on some chairs, and then a final shot to the back of the head, and then steel cage. I don't know. I wasn't it's a big still, fan of It still this. kind of ended quickly. It felt kind of rushed. Here's my issue. When you do a two out of three falls match, there has to be a linear adjustment to it. Right. And this match is fine. This match is fine because you don't need anything else. You're adding something. Right. This one, you're adding a whole cage. Right. I, think, I thought they did it fine, and the presentation was really cool. Right. But at the same time, I, felt, I feel like... Um, a last man standing would have worked a little bit better here. Yep. Um, unsanctioned probably would have been the best one out of all of them. But again, it wasn't the main event. No, it wasn't. It wasn't the main event. I just felt like that probably would have been a and little I, bit. I kind of know why it wasn't the main event, but you know. Um, Adam Cole did use Britt Baker's um, finishing hole. I can't mm-hmm. remember the name of it off the top of my head. Um, but it was like that modified Rings of Saturn while yep. grabbing the bottom teeth. And it's yeah. like, yep, that's a... Pretty much an indication, like you just know that he's gone, right? And and the AEW did tease a third major signing, and I think this is the third major signing. Is Adam? What Cole. was number two? We had CM Punk, Brian Danielson. They didn't confirm Brian Danielson. Yeah, did he's they? confirmed pretty much for the uh, September show, in New York City. Oh, really? Yep. Ah, okay. And then their third major signing, Adam Cole, Bay Bay. There we go. <laughs> anyways, anyways, moving um, on. Kyle O'Reilly did win. It was fine. Yeah. Um, I thought just overall, I wasn't a big fan. Of, I mean, I, I liked it a lot, but at the same time, you just know what happened. It was happening, mm. and it sucks. Yeah, it absolutely sucks. All right. Well, we just had discuss. We had we just had this discussion. Um, per per PW Insider, Adam Cole has not signed a contract with WWE. He is leaving after tonight. He's leaving. He's done. He's why, done. Why would you do anything else at this point? He is done with the E, baby. Why would you stay with this stupid fucking company, especially right now? I think he's getting out at the right time. But on a positive note, Kyle O'Reilly is slated to be the next opponent for Samoa Joe. Oh, really? Okay, that'd be I, sweet. I hope so. I hope so. Well, he, he did win this very he high-profile match. He has to. Yeah. There's no other person that can take right. this spot right now. Right. Um, here's my thing. It's hard to know what I would do to make this more majestic other than the steel cage stipulation. I would have changed that slightly um, to something maybe a little more akin to this rivalry. Right. Like last, last man, man standing, standing. unsanctioned. Um, you also, know, this should have been the main event, but I understand why it's not the main event now. Right. Maybe even like a false count anywhere where there's maybe a little bit of a hint that he's out the door. Yeah. Because really his um his exit, if that was his actual exit, it was a wet fart in church. Yeah. Like it just was not good. Right. I probably would have done something maybe a little bit different. Hell, even if Adam Cole Bebe. was leaving, I still would have had a proper send off for him no matter what. Right. I, I just would, and that would just be me personally, and also it would have been a really good moment for the very ending for Cole to leave on the high note, because nope. really, he carried he really carried the entire pandemic era for NXT. People not, are saying, not, 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 when, uh, not when Nick Khan is at the helm. Nope, you, you leave on a low note with him. I know. It sucks, because he just like left off limping. It's like, what the fuck was that? Yep. Whatever. Anyway, I couldn't have booked this better. I thought it was the, it was fine. I thought the skits were really funny. Yep. They were very entertaining. Um, these two have great chemistry. Oh yeah. I do like the incorporation of the million dollar champion. I maybe would have chosen like the North American, maybe something that's sanctioned. Who is a North American champion? Um, Isaiah Swerve Scott is. Oh, 
Who? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I, I would have done something maybe a little bit different with that as it regards to that. Maybe even a cruiserweight champion in some way, shape, or form. Because no one likes Ted DiBiase. Yeah, he's kind of a scammer. He's a piece of shit. Nobody should actually cheer for him. Um, but I think the right person won, yep. and I thought that the ending was great. Yep. The, um, the structure of the match was wonderful. Yep. So I, I, this was majestic. This was great. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have done anything better. Oh, God, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't have touched a damn thing on this entire rivalry, nope. including the promos, including the backstage stuff, including the match. Yeah, nothing. It was just now. The only thing is, I think it felt a little rushed. I feel like maybe uh, Dakota Kai could have sent some of her new lackey friends to go after her. Maybe I don't think that long the rivalry out a little bit longer. I don't think Dakota Kai had some other lackeys. I don't think so. But so, but she could make some new lackeys. Right. But anyways, that's my point. My point is, is this rivalry was so great going into it that I wish it I want to see more. I right. want to see more. And I feel I I feel like if they go any longer with it it'd be kind of a waste. But you know, again, we've got Kaylee Ray Coming back. Right. So, well, not even coming back. This is her first time Just coming, she's here. coming right. to NXT. Right. Okay. Um, Considering the circumstances, it's fine. I would not have had Karrion Cross be on Raw until he lost the belt. Well, I feel again. like that was a huge mistake. Um, thank God they got rid of the Gladiator shit. That's probably what I would have done. Why but, did they not have Scarlet in there? Okay, it was, I, wait, I, I wanted to make this point. Yeah, you want to bitch about Scarlet not being there? No, I, I wanted to bitch about this whole thing about wrestling because it is important. When you have an entrance that has the incorporation of Scarlet as or uh, of somebody as important as Scarlet, either if you're going to get rid of her, you either change all of it or you change none of it because. Right. The entrance and everything like that without Scarlet, it's missing a piece of the puzzle. Right. It's almost, it's, you know, it's, it's rough and get everybody wants Scarlet there. If you're going to continue on with this kind of theme song, do something different with the theme song. No one's going to complain about Scarlet. Right. They incorporated Scarlet so much into Karrion Cross's character that you almost have to have one with the other. Right. And I don't know where Scarlet is. Is there's no indication of her being sick or hurt or anything. Right. She's just off TV. Right. And for no reason. Um, that was kind of weird. Now, the match itself was good. I liked it, and I thought Samoa Joe being the um, being the flag bearer for this promotion going forward is fine, uh, just because of his veteran status. Right. Also, this gives him an excuse to stay out of the ring as much as possible. Right which protects him more. And I think that's kind of what their point is, is to make sure that he doesn't wrestle but, too but much. But he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a transitional champion. Mm-hmm. He will not have it for too much longer. They just have to build someone like Kyle O'Reilly up, and I think they've done a pretty good job. Now, do, you, do you think that that will be a WrestleMania, like a WrestleMania takeover? I don't think so. Do you, do you think it'll, it'll be, be before that? So oh, um, I'm God, sorry. Yes. Um, uh, Survivor Series, you mean? You think Survivor Series? I was thinking um, Royal Rumble. Oh, God, no. That's going to happen long before that. All right. Okay, shit. I wouldn't have done a damn thing different. No. Nope. Zero. No. Nope. Zero, Zero percent just, different. Let's just stop it right now. This was perfect. Ball's empty. And then this match, there was not really much to say Why are we it. talking about this? What is this? It was a match. A so, what? that's how you make this shit majestic again. People, this shit is not hard. But when we come back... Peanut Gallery, what are we talking about? We're going to talk about my theory about the eras of NXT. Because we're going into a new one, so stay tuned for that. All right. 